All right, YouTube. Today we going we got a small another small catering order, which is pretty much uh, one slab of ribs and ten pounds of chicken. So ten pounds of chicken wings. That's what we're gonna be taking care of today. Back on the smoking. Like I said before, we get these here charcoals together. Let this thing, no lighter fluid, none of that stuff. Just using the chimney here. Got Cody in the dang way trying to figure out something. This thing's gonna get hot in a minute, buddy. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Getting this thing here heated up. That way, like I said before, get me smoker to going. And then I gotta take this out. Now I normally put my chicken up here, which I think I probably, you know what, I'm gonna leave it today. Cause it cooks the chicken better, closer to the top. Gets a little bit more of that crispy skin on it. And I gotta clean this out. Fill the little water tray up there. My boy Cody got his pig here. I know it's not the best, but it keeps him occupied where he ain't bothering me all day. Leftover wood from the last cook. Pretty much charred there. This piece is charred on the other side. As y'all can see. Yep, got to get this thing fired up again. Get it back to smoking, as y'all can see. All of them are open. The door there will be open. Once we get that pull going through, we'll close that down. As the temperature builds a little bit, close the two on the end, and this thing's ready to rock. Once it gets up to temperature, we're going to throw the ribs on which y'all know everybody knows i always do a sp rub which is basically salt and pepper so that's what's going on the ribs now the chicken i do a little bit extra on uh which y'all let's see you know the salt the pepper paprika cumin bunch of little stuff that i put together and i'll probably i might put some of the chicken properly on this side because it cooks a little better on this side so probably some chicken there and the rest of it will be crossed this top because this top really cooks very well with chicken. And then I'll slide it out. I'll grab this and I can pull this a little bit so it's not as far, far back in the back, which gives it a nice cook. And then that water pan I need to clean out and get to it. But I'll be with y'all guys in a second. Peace. Getting the wood warmed up on the top. The fire is getting it going right there. There's a piece of oak, a piece of cherry. God, as soon as I get out here and the wind goes blowing like crazy as usual. But that's it. All of them are open. So in probably another 10, 15 minutes, I'm going to shut it down. And that too will bring that fire level down too once I close the other two stacks. Right now, all four stacks are open. And of course, it's gonna pull like crazy. And this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to pull. I wanted to get that heat into the, that, that that smoke chamber there, and then let it do its thing. Let's get her warmed up. Charcoal already, and so the charcoal is putting off heat. The wood is putting off some heat, putting off some fire, putting off some of that smoky smoke. And that's really what you need. You see how that fire is really getting to going now. Once I close those other two, you'll see a fire mellow itself out. Well, right now I want it to heat up, so I'm just letting it do its thing. And once it's warmed up a bit, I'll go on the inside and clean, make sure my grates are cleaned off. That's pretty much all to it. And then I'll go inside, season this chicken up, and uh, season the one slab of ribs. Wish I was doing more ribs, but hey, they want just one slab of ribs for themselves and the kids are eating the chicken, so it sounds like a plan to me. I got a catering gig for frying some fish coming up. Well, it'll be fish, and now she just added chicken too, so I'll be frying chicken too. But yep, that's pretty much it, y'all. Get back at y'all in a minute. All right, got a little ahead of myself, but got the one rib on there and 10 pounds of chicken that's pretty much it y'all so i always like to lay my chicken like this but i watched another video with another guy and he always put his chicken this way so i said you know what let me sit them this way and see how they come out now all this is not direct grill nothing like that so this is all gonna be smoked 
Let's close this back up. Let this thing do what it do. As y'all can see back here, that's my fire. As you can see, it came up because I had it open. And that'll settle out in the, about a minute or two, which I showed before in the last video. You see how the fire calms itself back down. Because I had it open, it's gonna pull more air. That's when you see the drop in temperature on the inside of the grill. At the same time, you'll get more oxygen pulling through, which will bring your fire up. And once you close it back now, it settles itself back out. And anyways, guys, I'm gonna bore y'all to death on that. Let me uh, get these things to going because I gotta have this done by four or five o'clock today. Peace, see y'all in a minute. All right, YouTube, as y'all can see, all the chicken that was at the bottom is now on the top. So I'm finishing up the bigger pieces now. All the smaller ones are off to the sides, already ready to go, so they'll be coming off in a second. And anyways, guys, as I said, the ribs are wrapped, and we just waiting on these chickens to finish up and take the ribs off, and I'm done, and I can get this out to the customer. Again, guys, thanks. Urban Fisherman out. Peace. See y'all on the next one.